Okay, it's plugged in. The transformer is humming. It didn't explode, luckily. So here's some initial impressions of this thing. It is plugged in. Uh, it's powered up. I did jump the uh, cable. Let me find the radio cable. So I did put a jumper in like this. Or I'll turn it around like that. So that's where the jumper goes to turn this thing on. And I grounded the meter, which I can't find the clip these right now. So let's take a look at some of the voltages in this thing and see what's going on. So it's not on a radio, it's not loaded up. Okay, so the 650 volts is here. And let's touch that. I'm seeing 745 volts there. Okay, the outbound to the 250 volt to the radio is here. And I'll touch that. 302 volts there. That seems generous. Okay, and uh, the bias is the green wire. And let's take a look at that. Without bumping something. Okay, we got bias. And I did twiddle with the pot and it worked. So the bias is working correctly. So, so it looks like this thing is uh, working. Um, it would be interesting to take readings on the transformers and see what what they look like, the the uh, secondaries on the transformers going into the uh, rectification to see what those are at. But I can't do it with one hand. So, well, I guess I can put the covers back in this thing and call it a day. It seems like it's working. At least it's putting out what it should. So, it ought to be interesting, people. So, the kit took about how long? I think I started around 4.30 and I had dinner. It might have taken me two hours. And the hardest part really is screwing in the boards. That's the worst part. Anyway, looks like it works. Um, the next step to the scary part is uh, connecting up the radio and seeing how the radio reacts. All right. Well, thanks for watching.